Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the dictionary activities under the programming section. A dictionary is a collection of key value pairs. So we will learn how to create a dictionary using the build dictionary activity. Then we will see how we can call the values of the dictionary. And finally, we will see how we can add a new key value pair to the existing dictionary that we have created previously. So first, we will drag and drop a build dictionary activity. The build dictionary activity creates a dictionary and the output would be uh, the data type of uh, dictionary and it will be assigned to this variable var dictionary in this case. As for the input field for build, we need to click on these three dots, click on add. Now we can see two columns like key and value. As an example, I am going to give in a employee details. Uh, you can use any example that you wish. So for instance, I'll give name as a key. And next key will be age. So these are my keys and these are the values and the corresponding value for name key is John, the corresponding value for the age key is 27 and so on. Click on save. Now drag and drop a message box. And now to call the value of uh, a dictionary we need to first type in the dictionary name and then specify which value we want. For example, if we want the message box to return the age value, then we have to type in age. This is the key. So we type in the key and it will return the value. So first let's see if it works. Click on save all. So since we have typed in the dictionary name and in brackets we gave the key age, it returned the value 27. Similarly, we'll just try for one more key. Uh, for, for example, we can give the address key. So we are, since we gave the dictionary name and in brackets we gave the address key, it returned the value first. Okay. Next, we will see how the add to dictionary activity works. The add to dictionary activity adds key value pairs to a dictionary. So, for instance, if I want to add a new key, department. The value I can give it as a uh, marketing. Now, this is a new key and new value. So I'll drag and drop the message box. We can use the same one for here, just basic below, and replace this with the new key department. Now let's see, run the sequence. As you can see, a new key has been added. So since in the message box, we had typed in the uh, dictionary name and in brackets, we gave the key, uh, department key, the value of marketing has been returned. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.